good morning my dear students welcome back to our science class let's continue with our chapter number 12 and for today our topic is purification of water sometimes water has impurities like twigs or dry leaves floating on its surface decantation does not help in removing these impurities so here to remove such impurities we use the process of filtration in the process of filtration the impure water is passed through a filter paper or clean thin cloth the filtered paper or cloth will not let impurities to pass through it the impurities will left behind on the filtered paper or clean cloth and clear water is collected below remember students filtration is the better process than decantation to purify water as it can remove impurities that are lighter and float on the surface of water students do you think that water purified by sedimentation and decantation or by filtration is fit for drinking of course no water purified by sedimentation and decantation or by filtration may contain germs and the germs present in water can be removed by the methods like boiling and chlorination the first method is boiling boiling is the easiest way to kill germs and make water fit for drinking water should be boiled at least for 10 minutes after the appearance of bubbles in order to kill germs and this clean water should be kept in clear and covered containers our next method is chlorination another method for purification of water is chlorination chemicals like chlorine are added to filtered water this process is called chlorination students as we all know water is precious we should not waste water the wise and judicious use of water is called water conservation so please save water that's all for the day thank you